This is the, the shoulder stretching protocol for Baylor baseball. You want to start out with um, your patient lying close to the edge so you can hold on to their arm. We're going to start out with internal rotation at 90 degrees. Place the elbow right here at your hip so you have so you can use your other your hands. You put one hand on the shoulder to stabilize and the other hand goes around their wrist to help move it into internal rotation. You hold for 15 seconds and then you're going to go to your next position and that is internal rotation at 45 degrees. Give me your arm. Same hand placement. Fifteen seconds again. Okay, the next one is shoulder extension. You just bring the hand all the way up above their body and you place one hand in their armpit to stabilize the shoulder and the other hand goes right over the elbow and you just press down on both and apply the stretch. Hold for 15 seconds again. The next one is shoulder adduction horizontal adduction. Your hand stays in that armpit position and your other hand is over the elbow. And you press down in the armpit and press down over the shoulder to apply the horizontal adduction stretch. The last one is internal rotation with a little bit of hyperextension. Hand is on the shoulder, pressing down to stabilize. Other hand is at the elbow and you're going to pull up. So press down with one hand and pull up at the elbow to apply the stretch. Hold for 15 seconds and then you want to go ahead and pull their arm out for them and place it back. You can repeat this as many times as you want. Most pitchers um, will ask you to do this about three times all the way around. Now internal rotation, internal, external. external rotation is one that we don't do for our pitchers because they already have so much and a lot of times it um, has an apprehension effect for them. So that's it.